All right, so let's um, return to our collection that we've just put here in Flax and um, just our one document collection based on the TED talk by Ian Golden. And now we're going to build in some interactive activities. Okay, so we've we've got a few to select from. We obviously don't have time to go through all of them. Let's just choose one here on split sentences. So you just simply um, click on create an exercise. But remember, you must be logged in to save any exercises that you create. OK, so I'm going to give my um, exercise a name. Once again, I'll just call it demo or test. And um, there are 61 sentences available in this lecture by Ian Golden. So I want to reduce that somewhat and maybe choose sentences that are longer. Okay, so between 10 and 20 words long. And what you do is you review um, within the interface here. This is the activities building interface. This is what you would see as the teacher or even if you're building your own collections for your own language learning. Um, so what you have are these um, sentence splitter bars which you can move along. Um, the system tends to put them into a grammatically appropriate place, um, but just in case you want to play around with them, you can. Um, so you could do this instead, the best minds and the best institutions, generally get it wrong. Um, okay, uh, uh, you also have this option of removing um, removing sentences. Okay, so there we have it. And um, once you've gone through and selected and deselected, you can then display what your activity would look like. Um, so it's given us the first one um, to help us out. So the best minds and the best institutions generally get it wrong. And then um, you can move things around. So so if we're happy with that, we can go and save the activity. So there it is. So yes, let's go back and try another one. Uh, let's do a, a collocations game. Let's choose this one here, number 10, completing collocations. That's always useful for lectures, I find. And OK, we've got 116 collocations to choose from. So it might be good to, you know, reduce the number. OK, so here we've got 42. Once again, I'm just going to give that a quick title. And um, here I can review. We can also print as well as um, save. That's another option. OK, so here we are. Um, the words words in blue are the ones that are going to become a, a, a collocations close exercise. So you can choose entry or competitive. Um, you choose extraordinary times. Okay and once again if you don't want sentences to appear you can deselect them and um, you can once again display what that's going to look like. The future will be more unpredictable when the going together that leads to a, oh, I do remember that, a new renaissance did this a thousand years ago have been extraordinary okay and so on and so forth so this is obviously a lot more challenging than the previous game because you have to essentially remember the language from the lecture so that gives you an example of two of the activities that you can build into your own collections um, as we have demonstrated here in flax Okay, so um, if you're interested in building collections, please do get in touch with us and we'll be happy to help you out and to guide you through the collections building process. Thank you very much.